What's up guys? So this video will be really quick, but I want to give you guys a tip on how to keep your the Razer Viper Ultimate wireless mouse in tip top shape. And uh, um, the reason I want to do this video is because uh, recently I have found my mouse to be like not as accurate as when I first bought it. And uh, I actually finally found out the reason why it was not accurate and I want to show you guys um, and hopefully this will help you keep your mouse in you know excellent top performance okay so I flipped my mouse over and I was looking uh, in the uh, the laser or the the reading area of the optics over here <clears throat> I saw some cat hairs and then I used my uh, I just used a little piece of paper I was trying to fish the cat hair out because I have a cat that always just, let's see, where is her? So here's Sesame. Now it's summertime, so it, she's shedding a lot. And uh, as you can see, it's definitely not good for optical mouse. And uh, in this case, my Viper Ultimate wireless one, uh, there are a lot of hair trapped in here and I was trying to fish it out using my little piece of paper. So I put it in there and I fished some hair out and then it just doesn't stop, it keeps coming out. I was like, what the heck is going on? And then I open up this little area, <laughs> look what's trapped in there. Um, so apparently this mouse, once it's, it, it slides through um, the, it slides through the surface, it actually picks up all the hairs and then it traps the hair in this area where is uh, the the little sensor or the receiver was stored so once I got that out it actually cleared all the hairs out and I'll put this back on but for you guys that your mouse is acting really weird it's skipping or whatever for any reason check your uh, check the sensor area first to try to see if there's any extra hair still stuck in there and if not open this up and I I bet I bet Inside here is a whole bunch of cat hair, all dog hair if you have a dog. Um, but yeah, and now my mouse just, you know, and now it work, it, it actually slides through, it actually positions much, much more smoother. So that actually fixed my issue. So if you guys are having the same issue, um, definitely check under the optical sensor area and also open up the little cap. You might be surprised of what you found in there, okay? Thanks again for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do hit the thumbs up button or subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.